I think Black History Month is an opportunity to learn. Um, an opportunity to learn about all the oppression um, and challenges that African Americans have faced in, in the U.S. and continue to face and um, how they've overcome those challenges, really, quite frankly, and, and continue to thrive and exceed in, in you know, every, every way and inspire those around us. It shouldn't take on a different meaning because it, it should be this important. Every year it, it should be this important, but this year it takes on a different meaning because maybe the events of, of the summer with all the protests and everything have died down a bit and it really helps people to really revert back to it and continue in the ways that we started and just to continue the progress that, that we need to continue in order to get where we want to be. I think to me it's just a recognition of all the great things that um, black people have done in this country and in the world, just celebrating black excellence and uh, you know, just kind of highlighting the importance that they and the, um, the kind of impact that they've had on our country and the world. When thinking about Black History Month, um, especially over the past couple of months, um, I feel like regardless uh, of skin color, it's, it's very hard to find your place in this world. And as a black person and as a young black man, I feel like that is made a little bit harder simply because of the lack of resources and um, sort of the lack of support, not necessarily being there until that you can show that you um, are making something of yourself. I feel like sports was one of the first ways really black people could have a voice to spread across all different medias. I mean, it was, you know, at the time, it's just, it was just extremely hard to excel yourself through school with all the barriers and everything. But I mean, with sports, you could, you know, people would look at your athletic ability and, you know, people would say, this is something you can give to me. So they, they would just, you know, let you rise up in the ranks. I mean, but you were still kind of somebody's puppet. One thing about sports is that for, for many black people is that um, it almost seems like it's the only way out often. So I, lo I love what, you know, guys like LeBron are doing and showing people that, you know, I mean, you know, his whole I Promise school, you know, making sure people stay educated and that they have other outlets now because the athletes of the past have used their voice to open, open up those outlets. Up until this past year, I've kind of just, uh, you know, not really talked about all the, you know, difficult things that have been happening. And I think one of the big takeaways is just, you know, having uh, empathy, you know, coach talks about it all the time, having empathy for others and just kind of understanding what people are going through and not trying to impose your feelings on them as much, but, you know, just kind of letting them have their own feelings and understanding uh, where they're coming from and listening and you know, seeing what you can do from, from there. There's more than one way of being right. Everybody wants to be right in this world and that's where the divide comes from. Everybody thinks whatever they think is right, whatever they, whatever their thought derived from is what has to be true. And that can be true. People should accept that. That's why there's so many different religions, so many different beliefs, so many different versions of schools. And there's so many different ways to learn. It's just not a set in stone. Like our brain is so complex. And as people, we are so complex. So that doesn't mean the answer is going to be simple. After last summer, I sat down at the dinner table with my family and I said, I don't want to stop, you know, just even when the momentum slows down, I don't want to stop learning and educating myself on, on you know, black oppression and um, the challenges they constantly face. I honestly haven't lived up to that entire, that challenge. Like I haven't stayed, stayed engaged, you know, every single week or that sort of thing. And so this Black History Month and having this conversation is a reminder that, you know, no matter how busy life gets or how many other things go on, I need to stay committed to that and, and continue to learn and grow and, and, and honor, honor the amazing black people in our country. We look for ways to unify so much when we don't even really need to. Like, we're all here. We're all on Earth. We're all alive. We all bleed the same. We all breathe the same. So, like, what else more do we need to realize to understand is my question. Like, I don't, I don't really know. 
I don't, I don't really have all the answers. I don't have any answers at all other than the fact that I know that I'm going to continue to do my part.